hello lovelies welcome back to my channel is debbie in the building as always so guys in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this fufu using our normal purple dress so over here at purple dress this one is our normal purple dress why this one is ciganis purple dress i think so it has short grains as you can see in the process of going to buy our normal purple dress we mistakenly bought this one this Siganese short green purple dress you know and since then i've been using it to prepare my rice fufu but if you don't have this one you can also use our normal purple dress in preparing this fufu they are the same thing the only difference is just that this one's grains are so tiny you know so this is what the bag looks like the bag of the one with short grain the ciganese rice looks like so if you want to see how i made this fufu keep watching and watch till the end all right all right all right okay 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 I started by using my coffee blender to blend the rice because I need to turn the rice grains to flour, you know. So this is what it looks like. This is just how smooth I want it. So I just finished blending the last batch. And over here is my rice flour. This is what the rice flour looks like after blending it. Can you see how smooth it is? This is exactly how I wanted it. So I'll go ahead and pour in the rice flour inside my pot. And then add water yeah and just stir everything up after stirring it i'll go ahead and sieve out the water thereby reducing the amount of starch you know rice contains a lot of starch although we still need some starch to make our fufu because it's the starch that will form the fufu that we are looking for so I added another water as you can see and stirred it up. Now I'll go ahead and place it on the You have to stir, be very close to always stir. Have you liked this video yet? What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the like button. Feel free to share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you. It has started forming. <laughs> those in diaspora we always um, look for a way you know to create something from the things we see around here <laughs> just to um, quench our cravings you know trying to convert it to our own food and all that so guys I'll go ahead and add water hmm? because we need it to cook very well Rice fufu needs enough water when you are preparing it. Mm -hmm. But you have to be adding it bit by bit. <laughs> See? And one good thing about this rice fufu is that it rises a lot. It can rise you just put small thing and when you're about making it it will just be rising and be increasing <sighs> how i just created this rice food 
I can remember one day I was just hungry, you know. I was hungry and what I have in, in the house is not what I was craving for. I was craving for swallow. And then it was during the lockdown. There was no gary or anything, you know, no oats. Because sometimes when there is no gary, I usually prepare oats, you know, oats fufu. Because that's what my husband likes eating. But we don't have any in the house. I now remember that we have this rice, you know. We have rice in the house. And after watching um um obey me <laughs> Miss Obey Amy's uh, video where she was eating rice fufu. I was like, yeah. Since she ate rice fufu, that means I can even use the rice I have here to <laughs> make fufu. The thought just came in. I just stood up, brought out the rice, blended it, and then used it for food. And the thing came out to well, as zen. And I used okra soup in eating it. The thing was so yummy, guys. Since that day, anytime we don't have gare in the house or any swallow, I'll just use the rice and make my fufu. <laughs> That's what I've been doing since then. So, guys, can you see that? Can you see that? Because I need the rice to still cook very well, I'll still go ahead and add water. <laughs> yeah, the one that made me do this. Although I don't know how you prepare the one you ate though. But I know they sell rice flour. Yeah. So some people buy the rice flour and use it to make the fufu. But as you can see guys, I'm not using rice flour. I'm using my regular parboy rice to prepare this one. So I'll just pour in water again and then cover it. I'll be cooking it for extra 10 minutes. So this is me after 10 minutes. I'll still go ahead and start turning it. As you can see, my rice has cooked. It has really cooked. Can you see that, guys? So I'll just go ahead and keep turning it so that everything messes up well. No one like you. So I'll go ahead and cover it and allow it again to cook. This time I didn't add any other water. I'm back again. Can you see? This is to show you that the rice has cooked well. It has stopped sticking on the pot as you can see it's no longer sticking on the pot that is to show that the fufu is ready I put it inside my plastic frame you know can you see that guys so guys this is it I just went ahead and shaked it you know just to bring everything together <laughs> so I sprinkled a little water on my plastic thing as you can see just to help it to give it a smoother look <laughs> yeah so this is me closing it up for it to cool down i'll be enjoying it with my nsala soup guys if you like what you see please don't forget to give me a thumbs up feel free to share 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 and share so guys thank you so much for watching 
stay blessed and stay safe see you all in my next video bye bye